Hello, welcome to the National Societies and Volunteering Awards 2021. My name is Rosie Hunnam, I'm the founder of Organised Fun and we run the National Societies and Volunteering Awards. We're a tiny team at Organised Fun and we rely on working with great people to make the NSVAs happen. We're partnered with Dell who are sponsoring the event and have a great student discount, discount programme too. We've shared the link with all attendees in the digital goodie bag and in the NSVAs event programme. We also have support from the following fantastic organisations, the Student Volunteering Network, A to B Assessment, Rally International, Mirror Gold, Atkinson HR Consulting, SU Skills, Phoenix Creative and Red Oak Roller. Thank you also to Coventry University Students Union for helping us find our venue and for the support with our partners. The team at The Tank, which is the studio that we're broadcasting from, and the student crew there have worked so hard over the last two days to rehearse, and the event is going to be absolutely amazing. I've been watching behind the scenes all day, and it's just so cool. So a big thank you to all of the organisations that have been involved in helping to make the NSVAs possible. We couldn't do it without any of you. Through our organised fun, we created the NSVAs last year to acknowledge the outstanding activities of societies, and student volunteering that happens across the UK in further and higher education. So we thought when we founded these that we'd be putting on a typical award ceremony where we can all get together in person and, and see each other. But instead, we've had to run two years of digital awards. Jamie and I from Organised Firm were actually intending to be joining you live from the studio for this welcome address um, and then being behind the scenes with the crew helping out in the studio. However, yesterday afternoon, when we were about to leave to go to Coventry, we were told to self-isolate by the Track and Trace app. So we are again joining you from home virtually. I'm back in my office. And hopefully we can, in 2022, we can all meet together in person for the NSVAs. The impact of the COVID pandemic has been felt by all of us. When reviewing the nominations for this year's awards, I was genuinely surprised at how societies and student volunteering has managed to work with and around the restrictions. It's absolutely amazing to hear about how everyone has pulled together to offer support for people affected by the pandemic. The student volunteering effort in response to COVID-19 has been monumental. Thank you so much. That's everything from me today. I'm gonna to go and leave you in the capable hands of our brilliant hosts. Last year, I presented these awards alone from my home office with Jamie behind the scenes pushing all the buttons. And this year we've got a studio and actual hosts. Um, so thank you so much for joining us at the National Societies and Volunteering Awards 2021. We really hope you enjoy the event this evening. Please share your thoughts and your comments and photos on social media and encourage others to join us too. This isn't an exclusive party, the more the merrier. It's an absolute pleasure now to introduce you to your hosts for the National Societies and Volunteering Awards 2021, Zoe Clifton and Cameron Sutton. Good evening, everyone. I'm Zoe, VP Sport at Nottingham Trent Students' Union. I'm Cameron, VP Opportunities, also from Nottingham Trent Students' Union. We're actually here tonight representing our students who are on their work placement creating the NSVAs. Grace and Libby were supposed to be standing here presenting the awards but due to COVID-19 and a rescheduled exam, they can't be here. We're sabbatical officers at the Students' Union, so Organised Fun asked us to step in. So we only found out on Friday that we were hosting. It's so exciting though to be part of the NSVAs and we are looking forward to taking you through the award ceremony this evening. We are live from the tank in Coventry University. So how will tonight run? Well, the awards will be announced in the order that we've shared in the official programme. You can download that from www.nsvaawards.uk and it's been shared on social media too. Talking about social media, we'd love to hear from you. Where you're watching from, who you're watching with, are you up for an award? Let us know. We're at NSVA Awards on all social media channels and you can use hashtag NSVAs to join the conversation. We'll also do some shout outs later on in the show. Tonight we have eight categories to announce. For each category, there's two runners up and one winner. We've actually got representatives from, uh, for each nominee waiting backstage and we'll be hearing from some of the winners later on live. So that's right, we have over 50 people waiting in a Zoom room to find out if they're the winner and they can give their expectant speech live. What could go wrong? 
There are so many amazing projects, societies, events, and individuals as nominees for the NSVAs. I don't know how the judges managed to choose just two runners-up and one winner for each category. We will get stuck into the first award in a moment, but first, let's hear from our partners, Dell. Hi, I'm Steve from Dell Technologies. We are so proud to partner with the National Societies and Volunteering Awards 2021. At Dell, volunteering is part of our corporate culture of giving back to society, which is why it's so important to be part of a new generation of young people carrying those same values. Students are at the forefront of change, and you'll see this in action with all of the societies and volunteering projects this evening. At Dell, we believe in corporate responsibility and ecological sustainability in everything we do, from the product to the packaging, down to our employee volunteering programmes. We are building several programmes with universities to help young people achieve their educational dream, as well as extensive graduation programmes that gives those talented individuals the chance to come with us and experience what it means to build a better tomorrow for everyone. This year has been extremely difficult for societies and students volunteering, and we're inspired by everybody involved. So good luck to all of the nominees and have a wonderful event ceremony. Our first award of the ceremony is the Collaboration Award. Amazing stuff happens when people work together. This category celebrates collaboration in all of its forms, societies working together, a volunteering team with a local charity and student groups collaborating with their uni or college. It's all fantastic and the nominees give some great examples of collaboration. If you've just joined us, hi, you're tuned in to the live uh, National Society and Volunteering Awards 2021. Barts and the London Dental Society, Barts and the London Queen Mary University of London, meaningful collaborations with other societies at their university and effective working with UK dental schools across the UK. Feminist Society, Newcastle University Students' Union, an intersectional, trans-inclusive, anti-racist, body-positive society. They created the Barriers to Entry Project, a guide for societies on how to be inclusive and accessible. They also worked with over 20 other societies in their SU this year. GRL Society, Bridge End College, a female empowerment group for those students identifying as female. Their major collaboration project was their period poverty campaign where they worked with small businesses and charities and run a range of events. Hedgicate, University of East Anglia Students' Union. Norwich Medical School students delivering mental health workshops to secondary school students around Norfolk. Refugee Teaching Programme, University of Essex Students' Union a student-led volunteering programme where student volunteers deliver lessons in the English language to local refugees. Rather than being stopped by the pandemic, doing digital sessions has grown the programme. Their main collaboration is with the Essex Integration, a local organisation supporting refugees. What next? Coventry University Students' Union. Coventry University Students' Union. What Next Coventry is the Coventry University Students' Union Society dedicated to the empowerment, enlightenment and inspiration of black and South Asian young people in the Y9, Y13 throughout the West Midlands. What Next Coventry has collaborated with 10 plus incredible student-led organisations and 5 plus community partners throughout the 2020-2021 academic year. Now it's time to see who the runners-up and winners are, and we're joined by Dom from Rally International to present the awards. Good evening, everyone. Uh, my name is Dom from Rally International, and I'm pleased to be here to present the Collaboration Award. It's amazing to see the different types of collaboration that societies and student volunteering teams manage, people coming together to make an even bigger difference. There are two runners up for this award. The first runner up for the collaboration award is What Next? Society from Coventry University Students Union. Lewis, would you like to say a few words? Yeah, that's amazing. Thank you so much for sharing that with us, Dom. I would say it's been an amazing year delivering this session. I'm, this year's activities, it's been an incredible year. We've managed to achieve so much and really empower, enlighten, and inspire 
the young people that we work with. We've worked with over hundreds of young people from the Coventry and Warwickshire area. So I'm so proud of the team. Um, I want to thank the mentors, the members, our partners, Think Higher and um, Coventry Boys and Girls Clubs. And I think the, the committee from last year and this year have done so much to be able to make this happen. So I really think we've been able to achieve our goals. We've really been the change that we seek in society. So I'm so proud of you guys. And I just implore everybody else out there to the take action and really show that if we things together, we can actually have a massive impact in society. So I think the Collaboration Award being a runner-up for this is so perfect. And I think being long-listed and everything has been amazing. So thank you so much to NSVA. Thank you, Dom, um, from Mali to be able to present us with this. And I think thank you to the team for making this to happen. Um, and yeah, let's see who the, who the, the next one up is and winner is. So yeah, thank you very much. Thank you, Lewis. Uh, the second runner up for the Collaboration Award is the Femi Feminist Society from Newcastle University Student Union. Not sure if we have a representative from them tonight. No, anyway, well done for you both. Uh, and the winner of the Collaboration Awards 2021 is the Refugee Teaching Programme at the University of Essex Student Union. Well done. Okay, so I'm here just to let you know that unfortunately the team from the Refugee Teaching Programme can't be with us this evening, but I know that they're incredibly grateful for this award. So um, we'll go back to Zoe and Cam and well done to everybody on the category. Um, it was such a pleasure to read all of the nominations in this category. We were also really impressed that you not only collaborated to have an impact um, during the kind of difficult and challenging year that we've had, but that actually, despite COVID, you were able to achieve even greater things that, than maybe you would have in normal times. I think for us as a judging panel, this is the perfect example of collaboration. You have got a really clear social mission with your society and your collaborations have absolutely made you shine. Um, and this is a perfect example, and this is why we've chosen you as a We picked the Feminist Society from Newcastle because we were really impressed by how their collaborations enabled a lot of um, intersectionality in their events throughout the year and how they were able to bring lots of different um, diverse perspectives into what they were doing and the events that they were running. Um, and we thought that made them really impactful. We thought this is a really amazing example of collaboration and how you've had an amazing impact on your community and how you've really been able to use the resources around you to benefit others. Thanks for joining us this evening. Well done. So that's our first award of the evening done. It's so cool being joined by them live. Who else is waiting backstage? Let us know in the comments or on social media. And if you're in the audience eagerly awaiting an awards announcement, tell us who you are and where you're joining us from. What snacks have you got? Who are you watching with? Don't forget to tag us at NSVAs and use hashtag NSVAs. We've got Rosie, Jamie and Tish monitoring social media and they will be sharing your comments with us. Now let's move on to the second award of the National Societies and Volunteering Awards 2021. We're going to find out about the Committee Excellence Award. This award celebrates the teams that work together on society or volunteering committees. We've both been on committees, so we know that it doesn't always go well and it isn't always easy. The committees who are up for an award have shown us something different or have just been amazing at working together. UCB Guild Disabled Student Society, University College Birmingham Guild of Students. Established this year during lockdown, the Society have established tons of brilliant initiatives including weekly drop-ins and campaigns despite having never met in person. Nursing Society, Hull University Students' Union. The Nursing Society was set up by a group of Hull University students over the summer of 2020. They have created a safe community of student nurses where all members can openly be honest about how they feel. LGBTQ plus support friendship and activists group. Dudley College. This group was newly established in December 2020 during national lockdown. They run socials and community events but are also working on lobbying the college to introduce a formal trans inclusive policy. Fusion Chemistry Society, University of Bristol Students Union. A large established society with efficient ways of working and a collaborative community. Wildlife Society Committee, University of Suffolk Students Union. 
The committee work hard to maintain a community of hardworking environmentalists. They don't just plan events or post on social media, but they work together to become mentors to students. Now it's time to see who the runners-up and winners are, and we're joined by Catherine from Miragold to present the awards. Good evening, everyone. Um, I'm, my name is Catherine, and, and I'm so pleased to be here tonight to present the Committee Excellence Award. Um, committees get a bit of a bad press. The saying is that a camel is a horse designed by committee. Um, but I happen to like camels, and I think that if done well, committees can be a place of great creativity, and members can certainly learn, learn new skills from diplomacy to negotiation, from prioritisation to ensuring that your decisions have impact. Um, you can build on all these things. And the shortlisted committees this evening have all demonstrated their breadth of these and much, much more. Um, there are two runners up for this award. And so the first runner up for the Committee Excellence Award is the Nursing Society at Hull University Union. So congratulations. Um, and the second runner up for the Committee Excellence Award is the LGBTQ plus support, friendship and activist group from Dudley College. So congratulations to you as well. Um, and finally, the winner of the Committee Excellence Award 2021 is the Disabled Student Society from the University College Birmingham Guild of Students. Congratulations, Alice. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, yeah, so the disabled students, um, the committee aren't actually here. I'm their vice president, um, but I've worked alongside them throughout and they've just um, done amazing during this time. Um, it's been such a difficult time for everyone and to have such a committee, especially for our disabled students. And they've put out to not only um, our students with disabilities, but with mental health issues and doing like wellbeing um, Wednesdays and stuff like that. So we're just so proud of them and we can't believe they won it, but um, they're always a winner to us. But yeah, we're just so proud of them. Um, so yeah, but congratulations to everyone else. Um, everyone's doing amazing in, in this year. So yeah, thank you. <laughs> How strong the competition was this year. I've been involved with student groups for over 10 years and the groups that we had on the long list were all fantastic. All of them in their own right deserve to win for one reason or another and coming up with a short list a winner and runners up were really difficult everyone has done exceptionally well and it was a very difficult decision to choose the winner i think what um really stood out here was how um the committee had really worked together and balanced all their needs and their individual um like family kids work um to still go ahead and, and deliver a fantastic year of opportunities for other students and that just shows shows such selflessness and such commitment to to supporting the society to act so well done everyone you're absolutely amazing I think we went with Hull University um, Students Union Nursing Society because they'd obviously gone through an incredibly challenging year and had done so much to support and empower um, the students studying nursing at Hull. Uh, and I loved some of the initiatives they did, the podcast, um, I think they did Student of the Month. Uh, there was just such a really strong sense of community that definitely would have supported people's well-being and made a massive difference for those nursing students. I feel we came to the group decision that as a college and as a challenging topic that they were looking at, they've done so well in overcoming difficulties to set up the support they have put in place for their members and students at their college, uh, especially in the time during COVID, they've done an excellent job and they're very deserving to be a runner up. So firstly, congratulations. Alice, can you tell us what is the secret to a successful committee? Um, I think this year they have had a really strong committee, so it hasn't just been one member, it's been all of them um, that's pulled together. So um, something that we do is we have officers who support um, specific societies, so I think having that bond between officers and between the society um, has really helped um, engage our societies and make sure they have the support and have everything they need to succeed. Thank you. And do you have anything else planned for this year? Um, so. I, I, I don't know. Um, we have lots of stuff, so we're going to continue doing the Wellbeing Wednesdays because um, that really supported everyone's mental health during lockdown. Um, and yeah, who knows what's to come. Um, things constantly change. So um, yeah, nothing specifically, but I'm sure the society have lots planned. Amazing. Thank you and congratulations again. I've had loads of comments in the chat and you've been joining the conversation on social media too. Hi to our pals at Nottingham Trent SU who are watching and cheering us on. And shout out to Ben from Nottingham who is also watching at home. 
And we've had a few more. We've had Sarah from the UCB Guild of Students. Congratulations on your win. The Disabled Students Society. Uh, who else have we got? We've got Tish, obviously covering the social media. Hello, Tish. Um, we're just going through. It's a bit of a lag on this iPad. <laughs> Hattie as well, watching the LSVAs with her dinner. She wants to congratulate and good luck to everyone. And it was a real pleasure judging the Collaboration Award. Thanks for getting involved. It's so nice to know that you're all out there watching and enjoying the show. It's now time to talk about the Community Award. Students contribute highly to the local community and many nominees in this category are great examples of local community impact projects. Some societies and volunteering teams organise things to benefit the student community, which is also great to see. Community, University of Nottingham Student Union. Community is a student-led initiative to create a safe space for students of the University of Nottingham to meet new people without the formality of an official sport or society. In less than a year, it has 1.3 thousand members, six active chat rooms, 10 plus advice forums, tri-weekly virtual socials, and frequent competitions. ICSM. Teddy Bear Hospital, Imperial College London. Teddy Bear Hospital aims to teach students in year one and two of primary school about what it means to be a healthcare professional, about how to stay healthy and about what happens in hospital to reduce white coat anxiety. Sheffield Volunteering, Digital Projects in Schools, University of Sheffield Volunteering. Project run with the Sheffield SU societies that turned digital to respond to COVID-19. They established three new projects this year and have volunteered with 25 schools in Sheffield. Hill Barton Vale Little Free Pantry, University of Exeter. They shifted the focus from books to food and made the Little Free Pantry, with the aim of a swapping system to avoid unnecessary trips to shops with our local community. As unemployment and furlough took hold, they also provided emergency support for struggling families. Keen York, University of York Students' Union. A student volunteering project providing play activities for local children aged 3 to 16 with special educational needs or disabilities. Particularly during COVID-19, the difference that Keen makes to the local community has been a peritent one, with many families struggling to keep their children entertained and stimulated during lockdown. Food Bank Collection, Dudley College Students' Union. The team behind this project have never met in person, yet this year they even expanded the typical collection to include Operation Santa. They ensured that even through a pandemic, community spirit can shine through. Manchester National Health Supporters founded by Saeed Khan, the University of Manchester. A team of medical and social care students across Manchester supporting NHS workers while they tackle the COVID-19 pandemic. This led to the expansion of the scheme across the UK. Now it's time to see who the runners-up and winners are, and we're joined by Oscar from Student Hut to present the awards. Good evening, everyone. My name's Oscar, and I'm really pleased to be presenting the Community Award. Students lead so many amazing projects in and around our communities, many of which benefit the local residents just as much as their peers. So there are two runners-up for the Community Award. Our first runner-up is Sheffield Volunteering, Digital Projects in Schools. Do you guys want to say a couple of words? Or? Oh, I think you're on mute. Oh, sorry. Um, yeah, so um, hello all. Uh, I'm from the um, University of Sheffield. I'm currently representing one of the digital projects, um, the People's Politics. Um, I'd just like to thank a few people who aren't here at the moment who have contributed a lot to the project. So that's Catherine O'Sullivan, uh, Catherine O'Sullivan, and um, my partner leader being very difficult for these projects uh, with the move from physical teaching and activities and projects to all digital. Thank you. Brilliant. Well done, guys. 
And our second runners up for the community award are Community by the University of Nottingham Students' Union. I'm not sure if they're with us today. They're not with us this evening. <laughs> okay, no worries. In that case, we'll go straight on to the winner. And that is the winner of the Community Award 2021 is ICSN Teddy Bear Hospital from Imperial College London. Hi there. Hi. Um, so my name is Sajan, this is Alex. We're both the presidents of ICSM Teddy Bear Hospital. We just want to say a massive, massive thank you to you guys for voting us uh, on this. It's been a really, really tricky year with COVID, but our team's really rise up to the challenge and been such an amazing help this year. Yeah, we just want to say a huge thank you to the judges for acknowledging us. A huge, huge thank you to our committee. All of you guys are amazing. Thank you so much. And obviously a huge thank you to all of our volunteers who are so enthusiastic and really they're the ones who make all of this possible. So thank you all so, so much. The overall category just showed that huge range of things that our students are doing and they're already busy lives and already worrying about things that they've been worrying about over the last uh, COVID year, I think just showed the range of what people are able to do and the creativity and some of the innovation and, and sometimes just taking one person to make that difference in the in the community and leading it on is, is so powerful. So yeah, immense to, to our student volunteers. The, the way that we were able to work together as a students, seeing the needs that they might want and to be able to address that together and to be able to grow and to be able to, to, to be there as people needed coming from a whole diverse community and being able to, to feel an inclusive and safe place for volunteers and students to be. Working in schools generally is a difficult and challenging experience and adding the pandemic onto that has, you know, increased um, issues tenfold and so the fact that they have continued and committed to supporting their local schools uh, is incredible and they've done a, a fantastic job of it. This was a fantastic nomination to read. It was a really strong project with a really clear goal and the impact was was really evident. Um, and again, this is a great project in any year, but the, the fact is that the year we have just lived through is, is very has been very difficult. Uh, white coat anxiety has been very high, especially for younger people. So the fact that this project was able to adapt and continue to, to meet the increasing demand um, of support for people whilst they're in, in hospital so congratulations, how did your project adapt because of COVID-19 and lockdown? Um, so it's definitely been a journey. I remember meeting with Alex sort of almost a year ago now to sort of discuss how we we're going to do this during lockdown. Um, so we did it a couple of different ways. We decided to use Zoom and sort of Zoom into schools and um, teach the kids that way. And we also worked on making some videos and online content so even if we weren't running sessions for schools, the schools could still, and the students could still get information and you know, useful resources to try and reduce that white coat anxiety. Amazing. And what are you looking forward to in the next academic year? So in the next academic year, we want to continue expanding all of our online resources um, and reaching schools that way but also we'd be really keen on restarting some of our in-person sessions because we have lots of new ideas um, that we'd like to try and implement. Amazing, thank you and congratulations again. We are now going to have a little break from the awards announcements and enjoy a bit of music from Natalie Oakes. Hey guys, my name is Natalie Oakes. I'm a singer-songwriter currently studying at the University of Bristol. I'm doing politics and sociology. Um, Alongside that, I'm a BBC introducing artist and songwriter. Um, and yeah, at uni, I'm in quite a few clubs and societies. I do women's rugby. Thought I'd rep them today. That's my main one. Um, as well as army reserves and um, Bristol Politics Society as well, as well as writing for the tab. Um, so quite a few things. Um, but yeah, thank you so much to the NSVAs for having me. Um, I'm going to be performing two of my songs from my debut EP, Keeping Up Appearances, um, which have done quite well. They're called Contraband and Poison Ivy, so I really hope you enjoy it. Um, big well done to all the prize winners, as well as the runners-up. Um, it's a really big deal. Um, so, yeah, thank you for having me and enjoy. I wish 
showers would see through You always knew I liked you So why are you being so damn rude? You're poison just like ivy I take a bullet for you Fuck one I handle two Now you, 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 you look so cool Wish I could roll like you I wish I had friends like you I want a pimp Mercedes I drive it to the edge Top off without a care Still your roots tangle me I speed away for sure Drive off a cliff and more Now you, 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 you look so cool Wish I could roll like you I wish I had friends like you Your poison just like ivy Just 18 Purple against a green You have a heavy hold on me Mm-mm-mm. Let go and watch me fall But it's such a pretty scene Now you, 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 you You, you, you look so cool Wish I could roll like you I wish I had friends like you Give me love, give me love, give me love, give me love 
That was amazing. Thanks, Natalie, for being part of the NSVAs. Later on, we will be entertained by another artist. And thanks to the Student Music Network for helping to arrange the two performances tonight. What did you think about Natalie Oakes? And what are you up to at home? We're loving your social media comments. Let's go keep them coming. We have a few here. We have the Speech and Language Therapy Society at BCU are patiently awaiting their category. Francesca's prepping backstage, practicing her speech. She says, good luck to everyone. Some amazing volunteer groups and societies out there. We also have Grace, who is very sad to be missing out on hosting the NSVAs this year, but congrats to everyone. She says, it's been such a pleasure to be part of it, and there has been some incredible nominations, and everyone nominated deserves every bit of this recognition. Very well said, Grace. Now, I'm sure you're excited for another award, and next up is the Development Award. This award is highlighting the societies and student volunteering projects that develop their members or provide employability skills and opportunities. The SM Teddy Bear Hospital, Imperial College London. Teddy Bear Hospital aims to teach students in year one and two of primary school about what it means to be a healthcare professional, about how to stay healthy and about what happens in hospital to reduce white coat anxiety. Occupational Therapy Society. Oxford Brook Students' Union. The society is committed to benefiting its members by providing exciting and unique opportunities for learning, professional development and employability skills. They worked collaboratively with other professions including social work to advocate for inclusive changes in the curriculum and this year released a campaign video on the importance of OT in the current circumstances of COVID-19. Exeter Student Investment Fund, University of Exeter Guild. In less than a year, the Exeter Student Investment Fund, EXIF, has hosted 55 events with 57 guest speakers from 43 different firms, 19 EXIF extra sessions, 5 coffee buddy rotations and 8 investment simulations and competitions. The Society ran 10-week financial and analysis course teaching members real-world applications of finance. History Society, Goldsmith Students' Union a newly formed society providing accessible events which support and educate all participants. They continually develop as a committee, taking on extra training to ensure their society is inclusive. They also run a weekly support group, a monthly viewing party and a monthly book club. Bath Entrepreneurs The SU University of Bath They provide networking, learning and funding opportunities for students to build the skills needed to thrive as an entrepreneur. Their highlight event is Launchpad, a 24-hour hackathon designed to break down the barriers between different disciplines, computer science, engineering, management, etc. and facilitate entrepreneurial business making. Midwifery Society, Northumbria Students' Union. The Midwifery Society provide additional development opportunities for midwifery students and those interested in healthcare. Their events this year focused on developing their members, for example, an illegal cultural harm workshop and a resilience workshop. The Student Workshop, Royal Holloway of University. A student-led theatre company designed to give students the opportunity to gain practical performance and production experience to support what they learn academically in their degree. As well as running their own productions, they provide a commission outreach grant to allow our students to advance their work outside of the university. Now it's time to see who the runners-up and winners are, and we're joined by Andrew from SU Skills to present the awards. Good evening everyone, my name is Andrew and I'm pleased to be here to present the Development Award. The power of student groups to develop the skills and confidence of their members is enormous and it's a vital part of university life. As far as I'm concerned, if a student wants to work in their degree, they can go to the lecture theatre. If they want to work in their education, head down to the Students' Union building. There's two runners up for this award. The first runner up for the Development Award is the Exeter Student Investment Fund from the University of Exeter Guild. Uh, I believe they're not able to join us today. So I'll move on to the second runner up. The second runner up for the Development Award are the History Society from Goldsmith Student Union. 
you want to say a few words? Yeah. Um, wow, this is amazing. Um, it's actually incredible that we were long listed and it was um, uh, we all celebrated. Um, but I just wanted to uh, say a few things. So um, my society, me and my society have worked incredibly hard this year. We haven't met yet. Um, we're just um, five queer and ally individuals um, who are just trying to educate the wider community. Um, I wanted to thank my committee, so Carly, Holly, Alma and um, Rain, <laughs> and um, I just wanted to thank the staff at Goldsmith Student Union, especially uh, Claire, who's pretty much put up and endorsed all of our hair-brained, wacky schemes and ideas. So thank you, everyone. Great, thank you for that, and well done to both of our runners-up. The winner of the Development Award for 2021 is Bath Entrepreneurs from the SU University of Bath. Wow, well, um, thank you so much, Andrew, um, and to all the judges. Uh, that's uh, such a privilege to attend these events with all these uh, amazing events, all these awesome people. Um, so thank you so much. Thank you for the, organiza the organizer and uh, the, the judges. Um, I just would like to uh, congratulate our teams because there were more than uh, 30 people working on with, with us. Um, with the committee this year and uh, it was a real team effort so thank you very much for all the people uh, who make um, that possible um, and I also would like to uh, thank you to all <clears throat> and to congrats all our um, members because uh, they are very involved uh, in all our events this year and some of some of them launched their own project and we will continue to to help them launching uh, their, their own project their own companies uh, over the next few years so congrats to them best of luck and thank you very much M. Teddy Bear Hospital, Imperial College London. Teddy Bear Hospital aims to teach students in year one and two of primary school about what it means to be a healthcare. So as someone who's always been passionate about volunteering um, and in my role as Vice President of Student Activities, it's been so incredible to re read the long list and see what other societies and other universities get up to. Um, it's gave me so many ideas to take away and take to my own students union um, and also some ideas for new societies that I really want students to set up. Um, so I was really impressed with kind of the thought and the dedication that went into the applications, uh, but also kind of um, the resilience that students have shown this year. I absolutely love Bath Entrepreneurs. Um, I do want them to rename though to Entrepreneurs in the Bath, and maybe if we can give them more points, that would be great, um, if you rename it. Um, absolutely love this application. I think it's um, really developing students from uh, all different perspectives and, and, and an all round way. Um, and that for me is what's really exciting is that it's not just about going into university and doing your course, but about doing other stuff alongside it and really um, upskilling as a, as a student, as a young person. So Bath Entrepreneurs have really um, done that pretty well. Millennials have a bad rep for being really bad with, with financial stuff. Uh, and Bitcoin has um, boomed over the past few years. So it makes sense that um, we need a bit more financial advice or a bit more training in finances. And this one really excited me because I'm really bad with money. Um, and I really wish that I had this when I was at university because maybe I'd be better and be a multimillionaire with loads of Bitcoin. We were extremely impressed um, by their dedication to make it more inclusive inclusive for students um, so we were really impressed we'd never really seen this from a history society for um, before um, so their development not only in skills for students but the inclusivity of students um, just blew us away as a student panel. So congratulations but how do you come up with the ideas for your society? Um, so basically uh, I need to say that uh, the previous committee have, have done an, answer, an awesome job uh, by launching a lot of uh, very exciting projects, so, such as uh, the Launchpad. And our, our idea is to continue um, with the same vision that they had during the previous year, to continue to engage the students as much as we could. And despite the pandemic, despite everything, we, we realized that a lot of students wanted to make something. Um, they were alone in their room, but they wanted to create new projects, to act, to do something. Um, and we just try to provide them with the, with the best tools that we, that we can. Uh, and we will continue, I hope, to develop uh, this, this project in the next few years. Fantastic. Have you got anything else planned for this academic year? 
So for this academic uh, year, we are planning everything because we are opening a new room on the campus. So we are planning all the, the events for, for, for next year. And we will have a, a couple more of, uh, episodes on our podcast that, that, that you can follow and maybe one other uh, events for, for our members. Amazing. Thank you and congratulations again. I wonder what everyone's been saying on social media and in the chat. How are you all doing out there? And has your award even been announced yet or are you still waiting? Yeah, so we have a few comments. We have one from Molly. It says, I'm one of the very few nominees in a suit jacket, so I'm hoping I win. Good luck to everyone, though. We also have Dan, who's tuned in and he's ready for the awards. He's looking forward to a great event. Congrats to Rosie Hunnam and the team for pulling this off digitally for another year. And good luck to the shortlist for tonight's event. And we have one more when the iPad decides to load from Matt. He says, massive shout outs to everyone nominated and the amazing projects. Big shout out to the hosts and the organised fun team. So thanks for sharing your evening with us. Let's take a look at the next category, the event award. What a year it's been for student-led events. The judges were so amazed by the nominees in this category, which is why the long list is so long. Despite the COVID-19 pandemic, there have been so many interesting events and there's mostly been online, but have still been so creative. Love Oxland, Oxford University Raise and Give. A fundraising version of ITV's Love Island, over 100 students took part, thousands engaged, and it raised over 3,000 pounds for RAG's charities. The County College JCR County Quarantine Quiz. Lancaster University County College JCR. A digital quiz only scheduled for three weeks, but in total, the exec ran the event every Friday evening for 14 consecutive weeks, distributing over 30 hours of content. IVDF 2021, Bristol University Folk Society. The InterVarsity Folk Dance Festival, IVFDF, the UK's longest continually running folk festival for over 380 people. The weekend-long festival was held entirely on Zoom, utilising breakout rooms to run up to four parallel events, as well as provide social rooms and soundcheck areas. Now that's what I call a Covid Christmas concert. Bangor University Music Societies, a virtual Christmas concert that was completely student-led. It had 600 views on YouTube and over 100 people in the Zoom watch party. This event truly brought the community together. RAG Week. University of St Andrews RAG. RAG hosts one massive week of fundraising in February each year, featuring over 30 events, fundraising over £5,000 and including collaborations with societies, nights out, challenges and sport events among many others. Everything Sucks and Everything Sucks Too, Everything Got Worse. University of Bristol Drag Society. Two lockdown drag shows premiered online with a variety of new and experienced drag artists. They were hosted by a member of the committee and Miss Rona, a glammed up pink puppet in the shape of an anthropomorphised virus. Hackaway, Royal Holloway Computing Society. Despite moving online for the first time in 2021, this hackathon had record numbers. 500 people from around the world. Am I good enough? Navigating the imposter phenomenon. Northumbria University, a free online workshop about imposter syndrome in academia, with breakout activities for over 80 engaged attendees from various disciplines, ages and levels of study. Hedgecate, University of East Anglia, mental health workshops by medical students delivered to secondary school students around Norfolk, reaching over 300 school pupils in less than two months of the first lockdown. Now it's time to see who the runners-up and winners are, and we're joined by Sarah from Phoenix Creative to present the awards. Good evening, my name is Sarah Richards, and I'm pleased to be here to present the event award. There have been some outstanding examples of society and student volunteer-led events this year. Big congratulations to all, the, all of the nominees. There are two runners-up for this award. The first runner-up, for the event award is Rag Week by University of St Andrews Rag. Congratulations, guys. The second runner up for the event award is the County College JCR County Quarantine Quiz created by Lanchester University County College JCR. 
congratulations to you. Well done to you both. And finally, the winner of the event award 2021 is Hedgecate, University of East Anglia. Congratulations, guys. <laughs> oh, well, thank Adapted you so much. so quickly with such creativity is just outstanding. So a massive well done to you all. Most importantly is probably to showcase the collaboration that it took. And we probably now, being in the lockdown for one, one year and a bit, we all tired of all the different stuff that is happening online. But the collaboration, the uniqueness, and some different aspects during the rugby and this university were really um, well deserved um, recognition. So well done to you and congratulations. I'm so delighted to, to say that the Lancaster County College quiz has become a runner up. As a fellow Northern, Northerner myself, to get the Northern University, this accolation is absolutely amazing. Um, you know, I think it, it surprised us all that a quiz would win throughout all this. As we all know, we're all Zoom fatigued out, quizzed out, all of this. So the fact that you absolutely set yourself above and beyond with this, with this in terms of the duration, um, the, the kind of traction and the, the reach that you've got with the students and the global community, friends, family it's really something to be admired and it's something that we all should be looking to for inspiration for our Zoom quizzes every Friday so congratulations. So uh, first of all uh, just the standard of nominations in this category was super impressive um, and testament I think to the talent and uh, resilience of, of, of everyone in the student movement um, and so it was a really hard job at picking the winner um, but for us and, and, and throughout our conversations um, as a judging panel, uh, we thought that the winner uh, just demonstrated some really super impressive uh, work. Uh, they worked with a national publication. Uh, they raised funds and provided support to teenagers in the local community, um, which was you know, absolutely necessary um, at this time and particularly in the current context. Um, and yeah, we just thought it was a really uh, impressive uh, nomination and, and definitely showed some clear impact as well. So very, very well done. Thank you so much. This is amazing. Um, yeah, Hedgecate is just so close to my heart and all of the, the committee and our members, there's over 160 of our amazing volunteers that put so much work into our, our workshops with schools and everything that we, we do on campus and our publications, our research, our, our socials, our fundraising and everything. So this means a lot to all of us. So thank you so much. And just I want to thank all of my committee, Jake and Becky, Cami, Mariam, Anna. I, I can't name everyone because there, there's so many of us. But thank you so much. This this means a lot to us. So yay. Thank you. And well done to all of the, the nominees and the long list and short list. Every, everyone said like they did such amazing things. So yay. Thank you. So well done. What tips do you have for others organising events like yours? I think um, making sure that you have enough, you know, support around you, whether it's like enough people within your your society or whether you've got um, people within the university that want to support you. I find that we have so many like lecturers and um, like people within like the local community charities that want to get involved in what we're doing. So, yeah, finding like minded people that want to do the same things as you. Um, yeah. Fabulous. How have you adapted to running events online in 2020 and 2021? I think it's been a challenge working out how to use all the online platforms um, and making sure that we're we're sharing all the right PowerPoints so we're not all on mute. Um, I think it's been a learning curve, um, but I think some of my amazing committee have been helping me to to navigate the the platforms and making sure that we're actually able to reach a wider audience than we would have been um, prior to COVID because everyone's online now. So our events have, have reached as far as Australia and, and Texas and, and India. So it just is amazing to see what we can do even um, in the COVID climate. Amazing, thank you and congratulations again. So Cam, what's been happening on the chat? Good question, it's been popping. So we've got Becky Ricketts, Gearing up for the NSVAs this evening and celebrating in style. Judging the Wellbeing Award was such a joy and I'm so excited to see the nominees for the other categories. That one's coming up next, so keep watching. We've also got Jim Dickinson. It's the NSVAs tonight, celebrating a bunch of heroes who've been trying their best to keep some semblance of student life going despite the pandemic. Well said. We also have SU Skills. Congrats to everyone nominated for the NSVAs. It's been the year from hell for students' unions, but you kept on going regardless. 
protecting your societies and campaigns from ruin. Future students won't realise the debt they owe to each of you. Keep them coming. We've only got three more awards to announce this evening. And if you've just joined us, thanks for dropping in. We are live from Coventry. This is the National Societies and Volunteering Awards Ceremony 2021. And congratulations to everyone who has won so far. The next award is the Wellbeing Award. The National Societies and Volunteering Awards don't just see wellbeing as mental health, but it's about physical wellbeing too. You'll see this recognised across the nominees. Student Mental Health Society, Derby College Students' Union. Created in September 2020, this society has been a huge success despite only ever running through the COVID-19 pandemic. Ellery Crossland, Durham University Students' Union. Ellery is president of Students for Sensible Drug Policy Durham. She has worked with charities and done extensive campaigning work on drugs policy. Educate, University of East Anglia Students' Union. Norwich Medical School students delivering mental health workshops to secondary school students around Norfolk. Headstrong Mental Health Football Club founded by Aidan Fem. UCLN SU. A recreational football team founded for male students to play football regardless of ability and act as a safe space for peer support and open conversations about mental health. Connect at Bangor Wellbeing Buddy Scheme. Bangor University Students' Union, a student-led peer-to-peer collaborative project which provides mental health and wellbeing support for students inside and outside of Bangor University campus. BL Open Minds, Barts and London, Queen Mary University, London. Open Minds is a volunteering society open to students who have an interest in mental health awareness and education. It is a student-led intervention providing mental health education to school students by training university students to deliver workshops in local schools. Train and Gain, Loughborough University Students' Union. An all-girls fitness and wellbeing society that have launched multiple wellbeing schemes to bring a smile to members' faces and make their time at uni as special as they can. Now it's time to see who the runners up and winners are. And we're joined by Eleanor from Atkinson HR Consulting to present the awards. Hi, good evening. My name's Eleanor from Atkinson HR Consulting and I'm pleased to be here to present the Wellbeing Award. The last 12 months have had such a massive impact on student life. And it's been really inspiring to see societies and volunteers going above and beyond both to improve students' overall health and wellbeing and also to create a sense of community and belonging during what has been a really disconnected time for many. All of the nominees have clearly made a real difference to wellbeing through working hard to bring people together and to lift, lift each other up. There are two runners up for this award. The first runner up for the wellbeing award is Alari Crossland, president of Students for Sustainable Drug Policy at Durham University Students' Union. So well done. The second runner up for the Wellbeing Award is Headstrong Mental Health Football Club, founded by Aidan Fenn from UCLan SU. Well done to both of you. But the winner of the Wellbeing Award 2021 is the Student Mental Health Society at Derby College Students' Union. For me, it's really nice to see all the different things that are happening right the way across the sector. There's some really inspiring ideas in there. And I, I think personally, I'd, I'd like to take some of them back to my own institution and try and start getting these things going because, yeah, that's what this the awards really for me are about. It's finding out people that are doing the new interesting stuff and then helping that proliferate throughout the sector. So, yeah, thanks for inviting me. Yeah, I think the entire judging panel was just really impressed by Derby College. I think the breadth of what they've achieved and the number of students they managed to get involved through a society that was only set up this year was just really impressive. Um, the fact that they've 
created resources that will be useful to students at Derby College for a long time to come was fantastic. I really really like this campaign because um, drug and alcohol use is just something which often isn't given the focus it needs for mental health and well-being um, schemes. I really like this and had a massive impact of being able to get drug testing kits available for students in the Students' Union and um, so I think this is really deserving um, and I think it's something which definitely needs more focus and attention from other institutions. So we really liked this submission. This is this is a brilliant submission. You know, mental health and well-being in sport is something that is, you know, slowly coming to the forefront. Is slowly being given kind of more attention and more funding. Um, but to see this kind of started for you know a men's football club in a student union um, for me was just was just amazing. Well. I guess I'd just like to say thank you to everyone that has helped um, launch this society as itself. It has been an incredible challenge and there's no, nothing more um, special than having staff actually value the students' voice. So I'd like to thank the Derby College Students' Union, my friends, my family, the team that I've worked with, the student council, the wellbeing reps, the wellbeing staff, everyone that has gotten involved. It is such a pleasure and I hope that we can value young people's mental health as you continue to drive into the future. So firstly, well done. Can you tell us what it was like starting your project during the pandemic? It's probably one of the most difficult things that anyone could ever do. As any, anyone else, they kind of agree. It is a very big challenge. Trying to find ways to do things online was definitely hard. But I feel like as young people, there's nothing we love more than computers and technology. So we technically found a way through it, whatever the challenge we faced was. Fantastic. And um, what are the future hopes for your, you know, what are your hopes for the future of your society? The society itself um, was created to allow students to feel protected around other young people. Mental health itself is not talked about. Everyone here knows that. It's something that we commonly go over as a stigma in general. So our hope for the future is that we can learn to work together to, re uh, to reach an outcome where staff and students can work together to understand and support for each other and respect each other's opinions, regardless of everyone's background, faith, ethnicity, etc. It is nothing, there's nothing more important than that. And having staff that actually value the students' voice and want to work with them in the future, I hope to see that happen for the rest of Derby College. Amazing. Thank you and congratulations again. It's time for our second performance of the night from the wonderful China Bears. Hello, we are a band called China Bears. My name is Ivan, this is Fraser, and this is our friend Rosie, who is going to help us out uh, singing some songs today. Uh, thank you to the Student Music Network uh, for having us as part of the National Society and Volunteering Awards. Uh, yeah, it's really nice to be here. Um, so we're going to get started with, uh, we're going to play a couple of songs, and our first one is called Statue Still. Ready? If it's all the rage to feel better, then why can't I seem to help myself? And if I'm moving out the picture, why do I stand in front of the camera's lens without any movement, any movement, any movement? That you still without any movement, any movement, any movement. I'm statue still. You hit the ground running, hold on a second. Could you try to stay before you leave? Out of the woodwork come all my friends But I'm too caught up in all I want To hear what I need They try to move me along Try to move me along Try to move me along I'm statue still They try to move me along Try to move me along Try to move me along that you still
I focus on getting through today. Then tomorrow, I think I'll have to do the same. Now, I'll just focus on getting through today. Then tomorrow, I think I'll have to do the same. Then tomorrow, I know I'll have to do the same. If it's all the rage to feel. Why can I seem to help myself? And if I'm moving out the picture, why do I stand in front the camera's lens without any movement, any movement, any movement? Statue still. Without any movement, any movement, any movement, a statue still. In case you come back and change your heart, in case you come back to start a new start, in case you come back and change your heart, in case you come. So we're going to play uh, one more song. Uh, we should say, um, uh, we think what um, the National Society and Ronson Awards are doing is really great. Uh, we're a band that met at uni uh, in Guildford. We all went to a uni called Academy of Contemporary Music. Uh, there are two other people in the band who aren't here because of being restricted because of COVID and uh, being far away from each other. Uh, their names are James and Dean. Um, so yeah, we all met at uni and it's really great that there are societies out there uh, you know, for music and everything else in between. So thank you again for having us. Uh, we've been a band called China Bears. Our last song is called Sunday. Call it a cathartic release Say it how you like That's the second time this week I hope you don't mind We were Just kids The feeling never dies You can change the subject I can't lose the butterflies Good God, it's a Sunday afternoon what are you doing on the kitchen floor again? I can't keep coming home to this Don't stare your eyes reveal A blossom of a tear 
I know how much you hated seeing me like that. Good God, it's a Sunday afternoon. What are you doing on the kitchen floor again? I can't keep coming home to this I ran the bath an hour ago Now the water's turned cold Is that you coming up the stairs? I can tell by the creaks in the floorboards. Oh, good God, it's a Sunday afternoon. What are you doing on the kitchen floor again? Looks like we're getting old. Thanks, China Bears. That was great. Did everyone at home enjoy their show? We've been checking out our social media and reading your comments, and we have a few shout outs. So we have Derby College SU. Thank you very much. We're so proud and honored to have been nominated alongside such amazing and hardworking people. Graham Atkinson says, congratulations to the Mental Health Society at Derby College SU on winning the Wellbeing Award at the NSPAs. Well done. Headstrong are absolutely over the moon to get second place in this year's NSVA Awards. They're so proud of the team for everything that they've achieved so far. And they'll be back next season to help out more lads in, ne in need. Well done, guys. Um, we also have Student Hubs. Good luck to Winchester Hub volunteers in the Opportunities for All Award and the Extra Mile Award tonight. And congratulations on being long-listed. So we just have the opportunities for all and the extra mile awards left to go. Hopefully you're all having a lovely evening and have enjoyed the NSVA's 2021 so far. If we haven't given you a shout out yet, comment or say hi on social media using the hashtag NSVA's and we'll do our best. Our penultimate award of the evening is the opportunities for all award. Societies and the student volunteering should be inclusive and accessible to all. The nominees for this award, for this category, showcase some great examples of equality, diversity and inclusion activities. The Social Mobility Society, University of Leeds. A student society aimed at bringing down the barriers to opportunity and student success for students from non-traditional and disadvantaged backgrounds. They offer employability activities, community building and representation work around social mobility. Arminda Verdi, Central St Martins UAL. Arminda created Disabled Intersectional Voices in the Arts, DIVA and Fort in 2017 after unconditional offer for rebuilding work at the university to include access for disabled students. Fusion Chemistry Society, University of Bristol Students' Union, a large established society with efficient ways of working and a collaborative community. They have an LGBTQ plus and BAME network, intramural supports team and a family scheme. The Big Gay Festival, University of Sunderland Students' Union. 
the centerpiece of Sunderland Students' Union LGBTQ Plus History Month celebrations, the team reached out to students and local community members with a passion for music and spoken word, creating a platform for them to perform and discuss why LGBTQ Plus History Month was important to them. Rosanna Foster, Winchester Hub at the University of Winchester. Rosanna is the Voluntary Communication Officer on the Winchester Hub community, raising awareness of social issues and encouraging engagement with the Hub. She has developed her own learning and used this to ensure all communications are accessible. Feminist Society, Newcastle University Students' Union An intersectional, trans-inclusive, anti-racist, body-positive society. They created the Barriers to Entry project a guide for societies on how to be inclusive and accessible. They also worked with over 20 other societies in their SU this year. Speech and Language Therapy Society SALT Society Birmingham City University This year, SALT Society introduced their first participation and inclusion officer role onto the committee and they completely deconstructed and reconsidered how they engage with the members digitally to remove as many barriers as possible. What next? Coventry University Students' Union. What Next Coventry is the Coventry University Students' Union society dedicated to the empowerment, enlightenment and inspiration of the black and South Asian young people in Y9, Y13 throughout the West Midlands. What Next Coventry has collaborated with 10 plus incredible student-led organisations and 5 plus community partners throughout the 2020 and 2021 academic year. Now it's time to see who the runners-up and winners are, and we're joined by Isaac from A to B Assessments to present the awards. Good evening, my name is Isaac and I'm from A to B Assessments, and I'm pleased to be here to present the Opportunities for All Award. This category is so important. All societies and volunteering projects involved have done significant work to develop equality, diversity and inclusion this year. There are two runners-up for this award. The first runner up for the Opportunities for All Award is the Social Mobility Society from the University of Leeds. Max and Amber, I don't know if you guys want to say a few words. Um, yes, thank you so, so, so much for the opportunities. It's absolutely fantastic. Um, Amber and I as presidents recognise that it's been such a difficult year for everybody, but um, well done to everyone that's been nominated. It's fantastic that we can all collaborate on such a great event. and. Um, we're so proud that the, our achievements have been recognised at the awards ceremony and yeah we just look forward to improving over the next couple of years and everything and um, hosting loads of good events so thank you so much. Great thank you guys and congratulations. The second runner-up for the Opportunities for All Award is Rosanna Foster, volunteer from Winchester Hub at the University of Winchester. Rosanna if you want to take the mic. Um. Um, hi, um, I don't know if you can hear me or not. Um, there you go. Um, yeah, no, I just want to say, obviously, thank you. There's so many people nominated, um, doing so many amazing things. Um, this is a bit of a shock, really. Um, I do want to say that um, as communications officer, this is a teamwork. Um, and I do want to say thank you to um, my fellow communications officers, um, Kate and Ella. Um, we formed a really good team um, over the past um, academic year. Um, and, you know, Winchester Hub really is a bit of a family. Um, so um, thank you very much. Great. Thank you, Rosanna. Um, well done to both of you guys. Now, the winner for the Opportunities for All Award 2021 is What Next Society from the Coventry University Students' Union. So congratulations, guys. Lewis, I'll hand it over to you to, to say a few words. Uh well embedded their understanding of social mobility was. Um, they, 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 they'd obviously engaged with a variety of people on kind of in a, at a variety of times throughout the year and galvanized support amongst the society to, re to really have a, a key impact on what is an important issue for all of us, uh, um, no, matter, no matter kind of where we work or how old we are, um, social mobility is a focus and, 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 they're, and they're obviously um, at the top of their game in kind of highlighting this issue. With Rosanna, um, yeah, the, the 
as a communications officer, out of all the things she could have chosen to focus on, um, she could have chosen, you know, multiple avenues to increase communication. But the thing that she chose to focus on was increasing accessibility and reach to students. And as a result of that, she, um, yeah, increased Instagram followers and engaged um, students with um, hearing impairments and visual impairments. And that's just an amazing thing to take from that yeah. role um, when she could have gone down so many avenues, but she chose that as her focus. I just didn't expect a society um, that's initially set up to do what they do to actually go beyond themselves to work to work in so many different ways um, and 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 think outside of the box. What really impressed me with what next is the fact that they'd gone down so many avenues to try and improve the engagement and accessibility of the um, program and the resources that they um, that they create. Well, wow, thank you so much. Thank you. That's amazing. I'm Lewis. I'm the president and founder of One X Commentary. Um, and I'm so honoured to be able to accept this award on behalf of, um, of everyone that's put in and fed and poured into the society. Um, I think this award's perfect. There's an African proverb that comes to mind that says, to paraphrase, it says, if you want to go far, go together. And I think opportunities for all as an award, and I think what we've been able to do as What Next as a society and all the societies that have been nominated, shortlisted, longlisted and around the country are really embodying that going together and going further when you work together collaboratively. So I just want to say, Massive well done to everyone else who was nominated, everybody else that was shortlisted. Um, it's amazing. I think we started the society two years ago to tackle the systemic inequalities that face Black and South Asian communities, and we've been able to do that. We've done so much work with young people from Black and South Asian backgrounds through our mentoring program and working with students on campus. And I think being able to see that and seeing how we're including everyone and making sure that people are really unlocking that inner potential within themselves has been amazing. We've empowered people, we've enlightened people and we've inspired people. And that's what we're all about at What Next. I think if we all continue to do what we're doing in our respective ways and change our worlds, we will see very quickly that we can change the world. So I just want to say a massive thank you to everyone that has nominated us, supported us and poured into society. Another African proverb says, to raise a child, it takes a village. We've had a village around us, to be honest. We've had a massive village around us and they've been able to allow us to unlock this amazing thing that What Next has been. So a massive thank you and I implore everyone just to continue to, to keep up their great work. Honestly, chatting with everyone in this room, I'm like, wow, 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 wow. So it's been amazing. Um, and again, I just implore everyone just to continue to change the world and be the change that they seek in society. But a massive thank you for me and I'm so honoured to win this award. Thank you. So firstly, congratulations. And what advice would you give someone wanting to run a project like yours? I think just to echo what I've said, I think collaboration. Um, I really learn, I think my personality type, I've been someone that likes to go fast and I don't like wasting time and I like to just get on with things. But what I've learned is that if you want to go far, you really have to go with people. And I think collaboration is the real key. And I think anyone that wants to start a similar project, you need to find others around you like-minded. And just go full speed. Um, don't be afraid to fail. That's also another thing that I'd say. Collaboration and fail fast. Amazing. And how has the COVID-19 pandemic affected your activities? Um, it's been a tough one. Our, our programme was originally to be designed with um, some of our local partners, um, such as Coventry Boys and Girls Clubs and Think Higher in Coventry um, and the Warwickshire area. So we worked with them in person. We go to the youth clubs and work with the young people. Obviously, it's amazing to, to be with them live in the flesh. So obviously, us as a team, we've had to put a phenomenal effort into adapting these sessions to being online. Um, so I think the COVID has really challenged us and stretched our creativity and our innovative mindsets to be able to um, deliver what we've delivered online. But I think, yeah, it's been it's been a tough one, but we've, we've done a decent job. So I'm proud of the team, well done. <laughs> Amazing, thank you and congratulations again. Our final award is coming up and will be presented by Dell. Before then, we have a short video to share with you. Thanks to Dell for partnering with the NSVAs. It's great that they can support this event and you can benefit too with access to their discounts.
And before we get to our final award, let's see how you're getting on. So we've got Hedgecate says, we did it. We won the National Societies and Volunteering Event Award. Thank you to the judges, to everyone who supported Hedgecate and been a part of our Hedgecator family this past year. Well done to you. We have you Clan, the interim CEO's first tweet, a brilliant example of students coming together, sharing a passion and supporting each other. Well done to Headstrong. And I've also got another shout out to Headstrong. We're super proud of the impact that you've had this year. So we're nearly at the end of the National Societies and Volunteering Awards 2021. We have one more award to go. We know that hundreds and thousands of students are involved in volunteering and societies every year. And we think you are all incredible. In a normal year, what you do is amazing, but everyone involved over the year we've had deserves an award. Thank you very much. The Extra Mile Award is the only category that is specifically awarded to an individual. They will have gone above and beyond and perhaps experienced personal hardship along the way. Bavandeep Baines, Derby College Student Union. As a new student, Bavandeep created the Student Mental Health Society at the college, now an active society. They are also the welfare officer, part of multiple committees and have worked with the college on mental health resources for students. Aisha Mishorn, Coventry University. Aisha is the mentor coordinator for What Next. She has been living with two people that are shielding and her entire family contracted the virus leading to her having to look after them whilst completing her final year of studies and coordinating What Next. MD, Mominal Hamid, Northumbria University. MD is a student rep for law, first ever elected asylum seeker for NUS conference delegate, style volunteer and a community activist. He campaigns on access to HE for asylum seekers including pressure in the Home Office on human right grounds. Through his campaign, Newcastle and Northumbria universities have announced multiple scholarships for asylum seekers. Nikita Holmes, UCLN Students' Union. Nikita is the disabled student's rep. Time to Change Champion and Chair of the Students' Mind Society. She has led training for other students and ran a campaign aiming to encourage students to disclose disabilities to ensure they get the right support. As someone with a hidden disability herself, she also uses her own experience to campaign. Veronica Barentos Jimenez University of Bristol. Veronica is the president of the Salsa Society of the University of Bristol. She reached out to 15 other university Salsa societies across the UK to create a collaboration across the societies. Diagnosed with cancer five years ago, she was left without a thyroid and has suffered from hypothyroidism since which affects her day-to-day -day life. Annabelle Lee, Northumbria University. Annabelle is the elected Gender Diversity Officer for Northumbria Students' Union and President of the award-winning NSU LGBT Star Society. Despite facing their own challenges with disabilities and being a young carer, they raised awareness and provided guidance related to sexuality and gender, built inclusive spaces for students to meet like-minded people and they have ensured the LGBTQ student voice is heard loud and clear both locally and nationally. Blessing Bellow Bournemouth University. Alongside studying for her BSc in adult nursing throughout the pandemic, Blessing has continued working as a nurse at Bournemouth Hospital and volunteers for Citizens Advice BCP regularly. Every week she volunteers at Citizens Advice on her day off nursing and has advised over 144 clients. Now it's time to see who the runners up and winners are and we're joined by Stephen from Dell to present the awards. Hello, I am not Stephen from <laughs> Dell. Um, unfortunately, Stephen's had a family problem that means that he can't be with us this evening, but I've had a call with him and he passes on his admiration for everybody uh, who is on the shortlist for this category. So 
Um, I saw you at the start and I'm seeing you at the end, which is quite nice. Um, my name's Rosie. I'm the founder of Organised Fun and I've been working behind the scenes for this um, awards. And um, before we go into the announcement of this final award, I just want to say that in the um, breakout rooms where we've had all of the shortlisted, can shortlisted nominees, everybody's been chatting and making friends and it's just been lovely to see. So um, what a lovely kind of unintended outcome from this process is that people are connecting with each other from all over the country. So I will finish uh, talking now. So yes, I'm here on behalf of um, Dell to tell you who the winner and runners up are for the Extra Mile Award, which is our final award of the evening. Uh, this award is about recognising an individual student who has been involved in societies or student volunteering and who's gone above and beyond and perhaps faced some personal hardship on the way. So congratulations to all of the nominees in this category. It's a huge achievement to even be on the long list. There are two runners up for this award and the first runner up for this award is Bavandeep from Derby College. So I don't know if you want to just say anything now. Uh, uh, thank you guys so much for this. I actually really appreciate it. Um, it's nice to see that student voice is being recognised and I'm happy to have been on the journey to help support the students uh, alongside the staff because as you know mental health is important and I hope to see a lot more done in the future for the students. Thank you. Thank you so much, thank you. So um, our second runner-up for the Extra Mile Award is Blessing Bellow from Bournemouth University. And Blessing can't be with us this evening. Um, so congratulations, Blessing. So finally, the winner of this category. So well done to both of our runners up. Um, the winner of the Extra Mile Award 2021 is MD Mominal Hamid from Northumbria University, who uh, I can see is running around <laughs> with his friend. So um, I'm going to give MD a moment to get himself together and he can come and give you a speech in a minute. But we'll go to the judges and find out what they say about all of our shortlisters now. I think this year we can all say the pandemic has infected so many people in so many different ways and has made it incredibly tough to volunteer and to do things within higher education and further education. But so many people have been so incredibly impressed with everything they've done. And even if you've not been nominated, you should feel so incredibly proud that you've even been able to volunteer or put yourself forward to do something to help impact students and their experience, because that's been so directly impacted this year by the pandemic. So you should all feel so proud of everything that you've done, no matter on what level you've done it. When I read MD's nomination, I was truly touched. He has overcome so much. He is involved in so much and achieved so much. And I think we need more advocates like him in the student community. Blessing displayed how truly caring those trained to be nurses are, both in their work and outside of it. To balance her degree and placement with her volunteering is highly commendable, and she's made a big difference to a lot of people's lives through the work that she has done. We chose Bavandeep because they've made such an incredible impact over such a breadth of opportunity during the seven months that they've been at the college, despite such a challenging year and under such challenging circumstances. Okay, MD, would you like to say any words? Yes, definitely. Thank you so much, guys. Uh, I just came outside to donate some aid gifts to the local asylum seekers. I saved some money. So you did, MD, Hamid. <laughs> Shit, are we on Thank you. So um, I hope everybody can hear me. Um, I just came outside. Hello, everyone. Thank you so much. Thanks to my creator and thank you, everyone. It was not really easy journey for me being an asylum seeker, being a victim of slavery and trafficking inside the UK. I have been so much. I was confined. I, I cannot just tell you how I'm feeling. But I only want two things I want to tell you guys. I really want to thank my mother, my beloved mother, who left me in 2019 because of cancer. She left her legacy to me. She always used to tell me, be there for people, be there for your community. Something good will happen in return. And I'm observing it. And I would also like to add to all of you today with my open heart and open hand that empathy, compassion, and empowerment always build a nation. Please remember it. I'm so happy. I'm so happy today 
I, I never thought I would be in these positions. I'm so blessed to be in here, being an asylum seeker, being a person in the community and bringing me here. Thanks so much, guys. Thanks so much for all of these things. Well, we wish we could have seen your celebration, but congratulations. What does volunteering mean to you? Volunteering means to me that we belong to community and we will be ending up in our community as well. So think about your community, be there for your community and something good will happen in return. This is what I think is volunteering all about. Community doesn't stop in the own place, the place you live. Community is also included your university, the societies and the places wherever you live. Very well said. And do you have any advice for our audience about being a student volunteer? Um, sorry, I, uh, can you repeat the questions again for me? Yes. Do you have any advice for our audience about being a student volunteer? Of course I can. Look, since 2018, I was been given study van to study in the UK university. I challenged home office. I took home office to the court through my case. After my case, all the asylum seekers in the UK has got access to higher education. That was not easy. I just want to add, demonstrate one more thing today, that some, uh, there's a there are misconceptions about asylum seekers that they are not contributing in the community, that are not there for their community. It is wrong. Give us chance, give us an opportunity, we'll flourish the world. And I would also like to add that never stop, keep going, and something good will happen in your life and in your community. Amazing, thank you, and a massive congratulations again. So that's it for the awards announcements. Thank you so much for joining us. A huge well done to all of the winners and runners up. It's a competitive process to be in your position with nearly 500 nominations and so many on the long lists. Congratulations. Well done to everyone who is involved with societies and student volunteering wherever you are across the country. Give yourself or the person next to you a high five or a hug. It's been a difficult year. <laughs> Whether you're a staff supporting this activity, a student leading it, or like us, a sabbatical officer championing it, you have all done your university or college proud. That's it from us this evening. Thanks to everyone involved in making the NSVAs happen. And thank, thank you, you and, and good, good night. night.